So I got kind of a thing going on. So I didn't know how to do that. I looked at it. My other big toolbox over there uh, comes out with little clips on the side. Snap-on's got their own stuff. So I watched some YouTube videos, and thank you very much for everybody out there that does this stuff. So they said use a hacksaw blade. And you cut off the part where the hole is. You leave the other one on there, I guess. But this one here you can cut off and then take all the teeth off. You narrow it down. And this is supposed to slide in beside where the track is, the rollers, and the drawer. Slide in there and pop little tabs. You do that on both sides and the drawer should just pop right out. So, you know. I'm going to give this a shot. I saw the videos that these guys put out, and some of them are a lot of fast forward stuff, so I don't know what the time frame was. It could have been, you know, I don't know, 16 hours, 15 minutes, 30 seconds. I, I don't know. But before I started the project, I wanted to make sure that I had safety precautions in place, and uh, so I got some gloves for myself, which I always put on. I do have some safety glasses that I am going to put on because... Uh, I just can't use these. If I wasn't making a video, I would, but because I want to, you know, be politically correct. And then I also want to make sure that I wasn't going to dehydrate myself while I'm doing this. I'm working. I'm old. You know, it's, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night on a Saturday night. So I made sure that I'm hydrating um, as much as I can keep them fluids in my body to keep everything pumping naturally and nicely while I do this. So I'm going to leave the video playing for a second. I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff where you fast forward and you chop and you cut all these videos and you make everything look pretty and I didn't put no makeup on or nothing like that. I, I am wearing clean socks so that's one thing. So I'm going to do this right now so just hold on a second. Put the old bench grinder on. Ah, safety glasses. Said, yeah, we're the safety glasses. That's what you said, I heard you. So, I'll show you my bench here after because of, I got a hell of a mess going on. Um, there we go, what do you think of them bad boys, eh? Not bad for an old guy. Alright, so here we go. Just uh, bear with me. Well, so what I did is I uh, tapered the end there, as you can see, and I took some of the teeth off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bend in that, so when I do slide it in inside the drawer, it's going to be able to hit that tab a little bit, and maybe just get a little whoop, pop out there. So just I'm going to put it in the vise and just hold on. It's a little squeaky. There. Look at that, hey, that's a little tiny, uh, and then should be good to go. So, um, yeah, let's see if I can move this fancy camera of mine because it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. There we go, a little crooked, but so am I. So what we're gonna do with this is we're taking this now. I don't know if you can see it, but try to if you can. Sorry, it's, you're not drunk, everything's okay. It's just the camera's moving around because I've made the hillbilly, uh, the hillbilly hand down there. That's uh, that's the best camera in the world, right there. Galaxy Note Nine. Galaxy Note Nine, good phone. Okay, so here's the drawer. Here's the sliders. The pin to get these out is about in here somewhere, and you can't get in there. This is why. So let's see what this does. See if we can get in there. I haven't tried this yet, so it's uh, going to be interesting. Yeah. Let's see what that does. 
I, uh, I don't see it myself. Nope, I don't see it. No. Well, so we got two things going on. It's not narrow enough. Could be. Um, I haven't hydrated enough. Possibility right there. You know, we got to have a few more uh, bottles of hydration. Or, um, I just know what the fuck I'm doing. Hold on, we're going to grind this down some more. Uh, getting down to the nitty-gritty there. Let's uh, see what that does. Well. As you can tell, um, that's not working out so well. It's not. So, we're going to stop for a second, take these off because I don't need to protect myself from myself. Well, maybe I do. But either way, now I can see. Like I said in the last video, you can't do much without a Johnny Cash toque. You just can't. I'm going to have a slurp of this stuff here because I had a slurp of coffee last video. We're going to move on to something here that I want you guys to see, and I'm not proud of it. But I think transparency, honesty is probably the best bet. When you're starting a journey like this so i'm going to leave that toolbox for now and not bother you with all my stuff that i can't seem to figure out but what i am going to do is i'm going to grab the old hillbilly camera built with a nice handle so again this is my garage i'm going to walk you over here first because of let me show you there's the top of that toolbox that I bought. It's not bad. It's in actually pretty good shape. She's an old girl, but it's still really good. I just want to paint her up, clean her up, and make her nice. But here's the bad boy. So you can see, that's my pride and joy. And the reason why I'm showing you this stuff is because, you know, like you, I'm too lazy to use a manual grease gun, so I got an air grease gun. But um, I do have a manual. It's right there. So, not so bad. But, um, my toolbox, I can't seem to stop buying tools. I don't know what's the matter with me. So, that's the top of it. And then, if you see, like, there's just too much going on, right? Like, it's, um, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. I don't know how many, uh, you know, it's all my other stuff, air tools and crap like that. 
don't know if you can really see that very well, but anyways. Yeah, no, more wrenches. These are the ratchet end wrenches, which are nice to have. Yeah, no. And then you got some other pliers. So I got more on the bench over there that's going to go back in there. All my carburetor parts, because I rebuild carburetors. And then all my painting stuff and crap like that. And uh, the big drawer full of uh, all my stuff I use for welding and crap like that. Just some air nailers. And then if you look over here, another big drawer full of beautiful things in there. And there's a bunch of more extra sockets. There's all my stuff, pullers and rivet guns. And all my electrical testing stuff back up here. You know, my especially tools, you got a distributor wrench, you got a carburetor tool, we got our fueler gauges. Anything in there that I need to do with carburetors or set and timing, stuff like that. All my manuals and paperwork, my receipts, I like to keep stuff like that. My cutters, drill bits. There you go. I do sharpen my own drill bits, so I keep the good old girls because they are expensive. Allen keys. So... Give you a quick little, oh, sorry. Give you a quick little shot of that. But there's some neat tools in here like these. These are like a big pair of, well, they are a big pair of tweezers. They're not the kind that your wife's gonna use or, well, you could, you know, you get up in your nose there or someplace or maybe in your ear. Back in the back there, you got food stuck in your teeth or something. Or, you know, the skin tags you can't reach. But these are cool. I like having stuff like that. We do have a small pair, just in case we get company and they feel like they want to help out, I'll give them the small pair so they feel like they're getting in there like that. Okay. Um, Zacto nice, handy tools right here. If you guys don't know what that is, which you probably all do, if you're watching car videos, you know what this is, and I don't mean to offend you. I know you guys are like, what the fuck's this guy talking about? But anyways, battery cleaner. Goes on the top post, take the cap off, it goes inside the battery connector. Very handy to have, unless you got side posts, but it'll still work. You can still clean off and all that good stuff. I got two of them because I seem to lose things and I buy more things, so. Here's something for you. This here, because when you get old, or even if you're young and whatever, I'm not saying that you're blind or got any problems with yourself, but I like things like this. It's a mirror. And it's on a telescopical handle that goes out. But it's also got a light on it. So when you're inside trying to find stuff in the motor compartment or working under a dash and you can't see something, kind of handy to have. And on the odd time, I do some surgical stuff around here for people that don't got health care. It's nice to have it when I do stuff like that. Magnets. These are nice. I'll tell you where this came in handy. I dropped a bolt down the hole on my 460 when the distributor was out and it landed right on top of the oil pump stem. Handy to have. This telescopical thing went right down there and took it right out. So thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. So I got a few of them, different strengths, different lengths, different size on the ends and then you got to have your measuring tapes i can't have enough because i guess i just don't know how far i should go in life that's why okay exacto knife for when the end of the world comes you slit your wrists and you just call it a day joking it's just stuff that i have little tiny mirror again telescopical no light on it but handy to have and i keep stuff so when I bought them old toolboxes, it came with a bunch of old tools and a lot of the stuff I couldn't use, but a lot of stuff I did. So what I did is I went and bought myself them little trays you put all your sockets on and I loaded up. So now I got enough sockets to, I don't know, figure something out, do something. So that's a quick little bird's eye view for you. I'm a Ford guy, as you can tell, love my Fords. So that's it. I got a little creeper that I roll around on when I... Try to fit under a car, I right? am getting a little chunky. Uh, you know, stuff like that. But anyways, that's the project that I'm working on right now is my tools. Organizing all that crap into tool toolboxes with my air tools. So 
quick shot of the garage. It's got shelving, blah, blah, blah. Junk, that, whatever. I got my arc welder there. I got my MIG welder there. I got my compressor there. I've got a generator there. I've got a painter here. I've got a wood planer there. I've got a air nailer here, jacks and floor jacks. I got my bandsaw welding helmet. All my stuff, and now you get to see the messy stuff that I haven't put away yet. So, here you go. Take a look. All the stuff's going to be put away and organized. There's that hydration stuff that I use. I buy it locally. I'm sure you could probably buy it online, but it's a, it's a brand of hydration that I found that works well. Cans of carb cleaner, cordless drills, rags, safety glasses, crazy, impacts, light sockets, bags full of tools and stuff that I haven't put away yet, bits, baby little impact, ain't that sweet? It's cute. It's cheapy. It's a power fist. Princess Auto Special. Probably last about five minutes, but it was on sale and I had to buy it. Cool little metal nibbler. You cut stuff with that. Make all, you know, do whatever you're going to do. Bought a new orbital sander. Beautiful. And then my favorite one right here. You ready for this? An air belt sander. Ain't that cool? Haven't used it yet. I'm going to do it. It's going on that toolbox. We're going to clean that sucker right up. All my cordless drills, I got a shop radio, you know, a couple of bench grinders. I got a couple of torque wrenches here. I got a brand new set of deep sockets here that are impacts. I got to put away all my bolts, a new poster for the shop, more electrical stuff, TV mounts, drill press, paint. Jeez, too much, too much stuff. Computer that I gotta hook up in here. So this computer right here is getting hooked up. And then I got a, my old 46 flat screen right there with a piece of wood in front of it. Right there. It's going up on the wall right there. Ain't that nice? And then this whole area here, as you can see, is getting cleaned out. I got a bunch of shit. And I'm putting shelves in there and a nice little workbench for myself with my table, my computer, and I can sit there and pretend that I am doing something important. So that's basically it. Have a good look there. There you go. And yes, I do have a problem with tools. So, oh, update two. The 77 Ford F-250 of yeah, the first video I made Sad to say I'm going to yank the motor and transmission out of that. Then I'm going to get rid of that old truck. And I bought myself a 1997 Ford single cab short block fleet side V6 truck. I'm going to drag it in the shop. I'm going to rip the V6 out and tranny out of it. And I'm going to throw that all away. I'm going to roll that thing out. And I'm going to roll my big truck in here, rip the motor and tranny out of that and the rad because I want the rads brand new. And all the good pieces I put into it. And I'm going to rebuild it again. I'm going for 600 horsepower. And I'm going to put that inside this little truck. So i got to pull the box off the truck. And I'm going to put a four link in it. And I want to do a bunch of stuff. But it's going to be fuel injected. So I'm getting away from carbureted. And I'm going fuel injected on the 97 Ford build. It's going to take me a bit. I'll make videos around that. And trust me, I'll learn how to cut and edit. So these videos ain't so long. And it's not so boring. And... I know I'm good looking and everybody loves looking at me and staring at me. You know, that's why, you know what, first thing I do every day is I get up, I stare in the mirror because I like looking at me too. But I'm going to cut that back and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So stay tuned. And if I ever do figure out how to take these goddamn fucking drawers out of here, these fucking drawers here with this fucking hacksaw blade or whatever they say you're supposed to do with it, I'll let you know. So, have a great night.